Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, so today I just wanted to do like a quick reaction video to uh, your boy Chris Sean working at Entrepreneur Magazine. I think it's, it's really good that they are actually giving him the opportunity to, to share um, his work life and, and, and show his his office and you know even where he first got interviewed and even when when he said that he had uh, got an interview there before and they didn't get a call back or whatever happened but um at the end of the day like the boy is back <laughs> the boy is hired the boy is working you know what i mean <laughs> so shout out to chris sean i think it's really good um what he's doing because it actually shows people that if you push forward, you're going to get there. You're going to get to where you really need to be at. Okay. Um, what Chris Sean is doing right now, this is just the beginning of his career. You know, this is just one of the multiple companies that he's going to work on, you know, in his whole career as a web developer. He's growing as a JavaScript developer, starting with just the basics of JavaScript, jQuery, and from there, some React. Now he's into Vue. Um, but at the same time, like you see the progression, you know, one thing that uh, I wish and I am jealous of <laughs> is the fact that I wish I would have been able to document my whole journey. I think what Christian has been doing here, the fact that when he first got hired and he first got on YouTube, like he was just honest with people. He's like, yo, I just started. I learned this stuff on Team Treehouse, learned this thing on my own online, and it just kept pushing forward. And at the end of the day, you see the growth in him, right? You see the growth and the things that he's been able to do and document in front of our eyes and in front of everybody's eyes. I think this is great. You know, I wish I would have been able to uh, get the opportunity to walk around in the offices where, you know, I used to work at in different companies. You know, every different company is it has different policies, right? Like every company has different policies. I think entrepreneur magazine is a more progressive company. They know that in reality, this not only does look good for him, but also looks good for them. Okay. Because now who wouldn't want to work there? Hey, you got Chris Sean there. You know what I mean? Like as a developer, you're like, Oh cool. I got Chris Sean in the office. You know what I mean? Like anybody would want to work in that company now. Okay. And not, not taking away from entrepreneur magazine. They've been around for a long time, but you know, it just, it, it gives them that, you know, that cool factor, you know, that, Hey man, we got cool developers here working, you know, look at them. They're happy. They got a smile on day, you know, in the office, you got free coffee kit, you know? <laughs> so that that's great, man. And I think it also shows a lot of you guys, man, that, you know, this idea that you guys might have like, man, I got to go to Google. I got to go to Facebook. I got to go to this, this and that guys, there's a million companies out there. You know, I saw a video of some guy like sort of complaining that, Hey man, like I graduated from a boot camp and it was so hard for me to find, uh, you know, jobs. But then when you ask him, like, where was it that he was applying to? And it's like, oh, yeah, I was trying to get to Google. I was trying to get into LinkedIn. I was trying to get into Microsoft. It's like, bro, you're coming from a boot camp. You're coming from somebody who's self-taught and your first job and you're trying to get into like the big four or like the top companies out there. Like you have to work yourself up, guys. This is something that you have to put in the work. And at the end, it pays off. So. You know, this is really good for everybody, right? It's good for Chris Sean to be able to create his content. Uh, we're definitely going to enjoy it. And at the same time, it's good for you guys to see, like, hey, man, same thing that I've been preaching here. <laughs> like, everything that I've been preaching, it happens. Like, <laughs> I've been telling you guys, you know, it's like people be like, Joe, uh, you know, Universal, uh, freaking uh, Vogue magazine, uh, uh, you know, like freaking, uh, I don't even know, Rockstar Games. Like, there's some million companies out there that you could get hired, right? Kellogg's, Coca-Cola, Nike, there's a million companies out there. You do not need Google. You do not need Facebook. You do not need Amazon. You do not need Microsoft. Like the industry is huge. 
right? Every single business, it doesn't matter if they sell toothbrushes. It doesn't matter if they sell uh, freaking cell phones. It doesn't matter if they sell, uh, I don't even know, hammers, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter what they sell. They need developers, okay? So start looking in your area. Start looking for companies, right, that are hiring in your area. You will get hired, okay? If you have the skills, you have the knowledge, sometimes it happens that, hey, you don't get hired the first time because at, maybe at that moment you wasn't ready or maybe at that moment, um, you know, they might have another candidate that might just have a little leg up on you. But, hey, there's nothing wrong of going and applying again. There's nothing wrong with going ahead and say, you know what? Maybe I failed this interview the first time. Maybe I did this and that. Or maybe that day, whoever interviewed just had a bad day and, you know, <laughs> unlucky for you, you came in at the wrong time and he's just not with it. He's not in the mood to really interview you good. And he's like, oh, whatever, I'm not hiring this guy, right? But then another day you come back, hey, the sky is blue, you know, it's a sunny day. He got a smile. You got a smile. Next thing you know, you're hired. You know, that's just how it is, man. You know, it's a little thing called luck. You know, I usually not try to leave things to luck, but it just happens, right? It happens. And it's just like, you know, if the stars align, the moon is at the right place at the right time and it hits you. <laughs> and I'm just joking, guys, right? People take everything so serious. But it's just random, right? But if you don't put yourself in those situations and those positions and those opportunities, you won't be able to get hired, okay? All you need to do is work hard. This is the only industry that I know that as long as you put in the work, you're going to get paid off at the end, okay? It's going to pay off, okay? Like it or not. This is the only industry. You could go work at uh, freaking sanitation for the city, work your whole life. You're not going up. <laughs> you're not going up besides the position that you started. You know, a lot of people are in the same places that they started 10 years ago. Okay, but this is the only career, the only industry that I see that doesn't matter where you start. There's always a step up for you the next year. Or the year after. Or the year after. You know, it's like, it just keeps going. Every year you you become a better developer. You become more experienced. You have uh, more languages under your belt. You have more frameworks under your belt. And more projects under your belt, which makes you even more valuable. So, watching this video for uh, your boy Chris Sean, like, I'm happy for him. I remember when he was telling me, like, hey, man, I'm about to get a new job, da-da-da. And I was like, oh, cool, nice. It's about time. <laughs> like those people um, on the other job, I'm pretty sure they, they were good, but it's your first job. You know, when your first job, you're not getting top dollar. You know, at the same time, people still look at you like a, a beginner because you came in and it's like, oh, it's his first job. People are like that. You like it or not, right? But now he's going to a new company. You know, he got more respect, you know. Got the title, front end engineer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, shout out to Chris Sean. Shout out to the boy. Um, I'm happy for him. Definitely enjoy his his content. I don't get to watch all of his videos. Um, I get to see the ones that just pop up on my my front my front page. But um, when I see something, it always something good, motivational, and positive that can definitely show people what it is. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. Um, Shout out to Chris Sean. And I just wanted to do a little quick reaction because I think it's important for people to see this and see the fact that, hey, there's a lot of companies that will hire you and they don't have to be in the big four. OK, and most likely you probably make the same amount of money as somebody that's in the, one of those big fours. So shout out to Chris Sean. Um, I really appreciate he's able to document his his life as a developer and show us the progress and everything that he does in his life. So shout out to him. Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. And by the way, make sure you go check out the description below. I have a whole bunch of cool courses there. And my own website where I have a subscription-based website where I teach you how to become a web developer from zero to 
being a full-time dev, okay? Check out your boy. I have something different than what everybody else has out there, which is I'm straight to the point. And yeah, and if you like that type of content, you like that type of courses where we don't waste your time, come to me, okay? It's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com.